Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back into the video from Gook on his second channel, Gaunt, and we are checking out. I watched every anime in summer 2023, so this is like where he does a stream and Twitch and then puts it all together as a video like this and watches all the trailers for all the upcoming stuff. Uh, intriguing, because uh, there's a couple of good ones. Uh, one, which was, well, Zom 100 boss, that first episode was absolutely class. Mishoka Tensei's back, mate. Episode 0, episode 1, awesome. And. That the reincarnated as a vending machine in, in a dungeon is actually very entertaining. I have watched the first two episodes and I intend on carrying on watching it. But let's see what else is out there. I can already hear the girls, man. It should have been me, not her. It's, it's not, not fair. fair. Hello, hello. <laughs> I need to watch the movie and then I'll be watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I still just watch the bloody Jujutsu Kaisen movie. My weebs and gamers, how are you all doing this lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Afternoon what for me. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be going through the entire summer anime 2023 cool. chart. To nice. See what is worth watching, what we are going to skip, and what is going to be the most hype anime of the season now if this is the first time you are here let me explain the rules once again how i normally do this is we're going to give every show a rating it's uh -huh. either going to be a must watch a three episode rule a one episode rule or a skip we are starting off with i know identity it's a short name guys short name so this is by madhouse oh i haven't okay. heard madhouse in a while mm. this science fiction omnibus depicts a doctor who treats robots and humanoid problems takes place in the near future where humanoids with artificial intelligence account for 10 percent of the population okay. the main character dr sudo hikaru also has uh the undercover name okay that's enough i thought that was a short synopsis and, uh, that's a long uh, one. Look at that. That's scrolling. Jeez. From no information to too much info. I feel like, yeah, if you need to put so much info on the blurb, then I don't think you're doing well telling the story. Like, e. Information. They both sound like they're written by uh, a different version of chat GPT, man. I ain't reading all that. But it sounds like it's going to be Japan become human. So let's have a look at the trailer for this one. Ooh. All these style traits. I see a shot like this now, and I'm like, oh, that's uh, almost a Mappa eye. Not mm -hmm. quite. Not beautiful enough. Uh, this is a madhouse <laughs> eye. Mappa has spoiled me with their eye shots, man. Wait, was he a robot? Oh! Cool. Okay, okay. I know it's a serious scene, but uh, Black Turtleneck, gotta commend his drip, gotta commend his fashion sense. I found Looking my good. new cosplay character. Whoa. Okay. Music kind of takes it out a bit, doesn't it? I, I can I can never fucking take it. Every time I watch an anime PV where it's like super serious, yeah. super depressing, <laughs> and then out of nowhere, upbeat J-pop song. Hey, everyone's happy now, guys. I was yeah, like it's it really re removes the kind of like emotion that they've set already, doesn't it? It's mad. Invested, man. I was invested. All right, actually starting things off. Pretty Looks all right. strong. The animation of that didn't look super fantastic. It seemed passable. I remember back in the day, Madhouse would put out bangers all the time. And now they've kind of, I'm not going to say fall. Did Madhouse do Afro Samurai? I can't remember if they did. Off, but they've kind of quietened down a little bit. The vibe I got from that was basically House MD robot version. Right. I kind of like the concept of a world with robots and AIs having their own diseases and having to have hmm. like a specific Well, yeah, doctor. computers get viruses. And it Ooh. all depends on how good the writing is, basically. I like the concept of this. It seems like this one has potential. So I'm going to give this one three episodes. Mm -hmm. Ayaka! Ayaya! <laughs> this is where uh, the anime fandoms have no respect. This was weird. I watched the first episode for this and I was kind of like, this is so Okay, and I, I couldn't bring myself to watch the second episode last night, so I don't know, maybe this is... Uh... Ayaka by Studio Blanc. The story follows Yukito Yanagi, an orphan who one day encounters an eccentric disciple of his father's. The strange man takes him to... It's just eccentric, it's just, a, it's just an alcoholic, it's just a drug, it's just... It's diabolical, it's terrible. With his birthplace on Ayaka... <laughs> <laughs> Ayayajima <laughs> meets his father's two other disciples who protects the harmony of Ayakajima, which soon threatens to collapse. 
Ooh, Ooh. this is just a plain yeah. old action one. <laughs> that sounds like some fucking Genshin music, man. Is this Hoyaverse music I'm listening to right now? That is that. Oh, Whoa, that I've not seen that character, boy. I don't think, yet. Oh my god, dude, why did they give you makeup, man? Yo, that's a, that's a pretty boy, man. Yo, that's a Naruto hand sign. My guy's a Naruto fan. 13 year old me at the playground be like. That was, that was, that was a CG oh, show. Not the worst looking CG I've ever seen. A girl? A girl in my pretty boy anime? Disgusting. Not gonna Gross. lie, that <laughs> did not stand out to me too much. Mm. Even if that kind of show appealed to me, the animation still looked pretty mediocre. Yeah, I thought it was quite bland. I thought it was quite bland. And he's giving it one episode here. Yeah, I think that's about right. I couldn't bring myself i'm still struggling i might watch the second episode just to see you know but mm. i'll give this one a chance to see if there's something interesting going on here moving oh do you know what? and double part-time is I'm, I'm enjoying i caught up and then that first episode i was like oh right we're actually into a story here it's cool i mean it's a shame they've had to you know take its time but on to the second part of bleach, bleach yeah, yeah, yeah. thousand year blood war arc. this could be the time this could be the time guys where I finally get Disney Plus. Bleach has had one of the most glorious comebacks I've ever seen in possibly like the history of anime. Like the first season of this did not need to go as hard as it did. Okay. And I was genuinely surprised because I think this is the by far like the best looking show Studio Piero have ever done. It's been so long Does since I look read the manga, great, like... I can't remember which part this is tackling and if it's the part where this arc starts to go downhill in my But I heard, I heard that um, the original author is involved, like has been already, but there's going to be extra stuff thrown in and other story beats thrown in that he wasn't able to put in the manga, so that will be interesting if that's true. My eyes, but we'll have to see because the beginning of this arc was a banger. Let's have a look at the trailer. Oh, we're reaching this part. Okay, okay, this should, uh, I, I, I remember this part. Let's uh, see if they live up to the hype, guys, like it did in the manga. Like it definitely did in the manga. I reckon if they do things differently. Hmm. 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 Is it just me, or did some of the action not look as good as the first part? My first impressions of that trailer, it is going to be very... This is going to be an interesting season. For the record, I am definitely going to be watching this. If you are a Bleach fan, this is obviously going to be a must-watch. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if, number one, it can maintain that insane bar of quality that it did. And number two, how they handle some of the mm. other parts of the arc mm. that are coming up. Up. Yeah. Because the best part of this arc was the beginning part of this arc, mm -hmm. and I saw some plot elements happen there, some characters getting introduced. Where, if I remember and recall correctly, that's when I thought this arc started to dip a bit. All right, moving on to Dark Gathering. What is this? By OLM. After a devastating encounter with a restless spirit, ghost fearing psychic Heitaro Gentoga becomes a shut in to avoid additional spectral catastrophes. Yoyoi isn't just an academic genius though she's a talented psychic medium hell bent on finding the malevolent spirits behind her mother's disappearance so okay. this is a horror mystery anime mm. i always get sus whenever i see horror in an anime okay there's a lot of anime that try to be just horror. don't let's let's just get this out of the way it's never scary it's never horror most of the time it's a comedy which includes yeah. every jinji ito adaptation that's been made so oh, far no. so let's have a look at the trailer for this <laughs> what? Yeah, this straight away, weird. straight away, that's not horror. Oh, it looks like, um, ah, um, the, the, so, the, the, ah, the, it reminds me of Soul Eater. Mom <laughs> says to play with the neighbor's kid. The neighbor's kid. Rip to everyone wearing headphones right now. I did all right. Oh, this is a horror horror. Oh. Oh, we're, we're doing horror horror. Okay. Ooh, oh, what was that? I don't know how to feel about this. I like the fact that they're trying to do another, like, actual 
horror hmm. anime. This one actually looks like it's going to be a horror horror anime, not just the like, oh, we're just pretending to be horror anime, but it's really just a fucking comedy or something. This could be the scariest fucking story in the world. If you have character designs like this, I'm not going to find it scary. Yeah. Look at this character design. It just fucking takes me out of it. And it that was weird. my biggest problem with something like Higarashi as well. I get that it's playing on the, oh, they look cute and kawaii, but really they're psychotic and murderous and it's scary. And I'm like, I just don't find that scary having said that it looks like they're trying in this one and that's mm. more than i can say than a lot of horror it anime. is just the character design seem intriguing. very strange for and it i mm. want to give this one a chance even though horror anime doesn't have a good track record i'm going to give this one three episodes moving on to the Did kiru neko wa the masterful wa cat is depressed Mugans. again today okay when saku took in a stray what? black cat she never it's expected huge. that he would become the equivalent of a housekeeping life partner what? what? Furries unite? Hey, yo. But Yukichi, a giant cat who towers over Saku, is not your ordinary feline. He takes... <laughs> this better not be another Unikai. Oh, God. I swear no, to God. Before no. I say anything, let's have a look at the trailer. Oh, this is Gohan's, isn't it? I can't really tell it's Gohan. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. What, what the fuck was going on? <laughs> Average cat owner right here, guys. So, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's, it's. Okay. I, 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 I have. Guys, guys. So many questions. I have questions. Yeah. I don't know if I want them answered, but I have questions. Is this a cat? or a man cat or a man who's been transformed to a cat or, or is it just a giant cat or an actual just giant yeah, cat I'm, yeah. I've, I've got so many questions right now guys what is going on guys? <laughs> reading the synopsis i was like what am i about That's to watch still no this clue this sounds like the most weird sus show that we've seen so far still no having clue. seen the trailers i'm going to give this one three episodes this one seems oh. like one i can actually recommend to people who own cats all right okay so moving on I to the, you the story is set in rosewood academy a school that trains future heroes destined to protect mankind Aren't never heard of that one before it sounds really unique and cool that's flaming what what a Honest flaming. A girl who boasts the top <laughs> record in the academy is assigned to guide a mysterious but cheerful new student named Blade, who rivals her own power. Looking from the trailer, are we are we are we gonna see some culture in this one? Let's have a look. Oh. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're hey, back to looks alright. <laughs> back to generic. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good three seconds of hope, guys. Like whoa. Yeah. Oh, hold on, Harem, Harem, is this a Harem anime? Look at that worst girl already, I can already tell. Alright, there's your 5,000 dear year old girl. It's a close ripping. Okay, hear me out. You're only going to have one of two reactions either that's an instant skip or either they know their target audience <laughs> and i might be that target audience it's new that's hilarious. exactly what it wanted yeah. to be yeah, they, yeah. Try they just had to throw that seed in they just had to for it to be like look this is what you're gonna see try to pretend to be anything else there's like generic stuff and then there is generic stuff that commits to being the most trashiest piece of generic stuff that you can like ask for and this seems to be like the latter part of that. I think I'm going to give this one a chance. No. I'm going to give this one definitely nah. one episode. Oh, I mean, if, if it was on Crunchyroll, I would. I'll have to check. No. I'll have to check. <laughs> All right, next we have Genjutsu no Yohane, Sunshine in the Mirror. Where have I seen so these characters before? The story reimagines Yoshiko Tsushima, the school idol afflicted with Chinibio adolescent delusions of grandeur as a magical girl. The project was initially teased as an April Fool's joke in 2022 oh. and later formally an- Is this love life? <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait. Hold up a second. Are they putting Love Live in my fantasy? Is this how I become a Love Live fan? Hold up for a second, guys. I thought I could escape the Love Live. I thought I could escape an Isekai Love Live. No, 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 no. Yo, that, that, that's the 
fucking love live no, money, man. <laughs> this looks no, really good. <laughs> oh no, why you no? No, no, no. Oh, this actually looks decent. No, what a what a love life fans cooking. No, what a love life fans cooking. <sighs> One episode. Boys, are we in? Are we in? Boys, are we in? <laughs> I don't want to give Idol fans a W, man. I don't want to say it. That actually looks good. Love Live always had the budget to work with, obviously. Um, I thought they would stick to your usual Idol affair. This one actually looks all right. It looks, it looks all right. Okay, I, they, there. I said it, Idol fans. I'm gonna watch this one. All right, I'm gonna watch this one. I'll give this one three episodes. Maybe I might fucking like this one. Okay, moving on to the. Hey, so yeah, story seems to be happening. Uh, I would recommend catching up. Um, and the comedy seems to be back in proper form as well. That first episode was of the second half was, I really liked it. They, they, they make fun of the whole McCafe phase and stuff. Ah. Second season, okay, back, back to something I know. Back to something I know. Devil is a part-timer, second season, season two, I guess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really enjoyed the first season yeah, yeah and when i this got announced for a sequel i was so mm -hmm. excited the second season just did not capture that same magic no it didn't the first season i think it's right it doesn't like it's not it's not quite there but like i'm saying that that first half is setting up for an actual story that's going on the first season was just really funny with like loose little bits to do with their backstory and that now this is like if we're going to carry on, I feel like we need to have a story for everyone to be a part of. So mystery, intrigue, let's create backstories for all these people that they're not aware of. And uh, slowly tie it all in. That the animation took a big downgrade to what I, I remember it being in the first season. I'll be honest, I just don't think it was as good. Don't think I had nostalgia goggles watching the first one because I've rewatched it a bunch of times and I still think it was really funny. Yeah, the second season just wasn't as good. And mm. unless this really turns it around, I'm probably actually going to skip this one. All right, moving Whoa. on to help. help. A certain country in the demon world. The demon king was defeated by the hands of one of the heroes and a competition was held for the title of the new demon king. Oh, is, is, is that a tournament arc? Is, well, Sounds uh, like a tournament arc. and other finalists. With a smile, Helk says, let's destroy <laughs> the humans. Are those Excuse words me. true? The truth behind the smile is... Okay, hold on, hold on. Is this Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament arc? I am interested. I'm, I'm already interested. Give me a tournament arc. That's all I need. We have two trailers for this. Let's give this one a watch. Whoa. <laughs> I never thought text would fucking... Yeah. <laughs> this is already scarier than the horror <laughs> we watched earlier. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds like something that Christopher Nolan directed. Is this the apology letter for Records of Ragnarok? Huh. Bigger Chad, human takes on gods? Sure, I actually quite like the, the, two, the two seasons out of Records of Ragnarok at the moment and I'm waiting for the other one. But I haven't read the manga, so I don't know why everyone's complaining. I, but I dig it! Oh, that, that, this looks like fun. Let's break that down. Tournament arc. Tsundere main goddess girl or whatever. An actual yes. Giga Chad as the main character and not some beta isekai protagonist design this looks like what if that's his transformation so much fucking fun the animation doesn't look super stellar fantastic or anything like that i have a feeling it's going to be this season's magic and muscle kind of like that kind of vibe where okay. i just have fun every single episode all right moving God, that's a long that name. What the hell? Yes, is this an isekai or fantasy? Uh, let me get the English title for this. The English title for this is the most heretical last boss from villainess to savior. From villainess to savior. Ah, another villainous anime. The synopsis is almost as long as the title is. Pride Royal Ivy is only eight years old when she realizes that she's been reincarnated, destined to become the future wicked queen and final boss of an Atome game. Right. This Never happened. heard that one before. I'll leave yeah, my judgment. This is definitely like now becoming a seasonal thing. Oh, is that the Horror Mia episode? Is that the Horror Mia episode? I want to watch the Horror Mia episode. So before I watch the trailer, let's have a look at the trailer. We have two trailers for this one. <laughs> 
What is going on right now? Okay, okay. I thought this was <laughs> going to be lighthearted. Uh, why is it this... It gave me uh, Overlord vibes for a second. Oh, there's the J-pop. There it is. I think J-pop, guys. Oh, was that times two speed? That animation literally looked like times two speed. Why does she have a gun? What is going on? What, the, what is going on? All right. My American princess. So I'm not gonna lie, I well, am pretty burnt out on villainous and yeah, it's happening anime. Like so Isekai, much. there is a lot, but unlike Isekai, they don't appeal to me as much as Isekai. What can I say? I'm, mm. I'm, I'm an Isekai trash. It's its own and thing I think now. Because I am enjoying, is it uh, Ray Liana? That one's set the bar. I need to get into that. And that's the case. I don't know I'll watch the first time episode. To enjoy another one. Having said that, I kind of had my curiosity piqued by the trailer. I had no idea what the f was going on in that trailer. There was guns. There was sword. It seemed to be way more serious than I thought it was going to be. I am probably gonna give this one at least one episode. At least one hmm. episode. If I wasn't so burnt out of villainous anime, I'd probably give this one three episodes. Right. But at the moment, I'm only gonna give this one one episode moving on to reincarnated into another world as a vending machine yeah like this really surprised me like i have watched the first two episodes and i want to watch the next one i, I watched the first episode wanting to hate it i was like this is gonna be rubbish they somehow made it work i read the comments on crunch and i was like well, how did they make that work it's entertaining it's See what he thinks. I'd be interesting to see how much the trailer shows about how it works. Now, let's go. After dying in a traffic accident, I find myself standing near an unfamiliar lake. It seems I've turned into a vending machine. I can only do what actual vending machines can. That's that's, that's not a lot. What can a vending machine do? Quench thirst. <laughs> Rip to everyone in Japan who's ever been killed by a vending machine, guys. <laughs> what am I watching right now? How does she know? How does she know what a vending machine is? This is a fantasy world. She doesn't. I'm so curious. How do you make a show about this? Giga, they're yeah. drinking his piss, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Why are you gonna put that in my They're not! Why is there, why is there action? Yeah, in this it show? works. What is, Second episode what makes is going work. It's great. It's good. Why is there demons and action in my vending machine anime? What is this? <laughs> this might be the most five-head Japanese advertisements you can ask for. Because <laughs> I'm just watching that trailer. I'm like, damn. I want to go to some vending, vending machine. Right yeah, now. Yeah. I want to find some vending machine. I am giving this one a chance out of morbid curiosity. Yes. It, yeah, that was it. That was me. Problem, that was me. I need to know. I I need to know how they possibly can make this work as a show i just it i works. need to know my big concern is that it's going to get stale after three episodes but we'll see vending machine, it's worked for two at the moment it's i am going for to two give this one three episodes all right moving on to jujutsu kaisen I, I know i'd like two. it okay we're skipping this one guys. i know i'd like it but from what I've seen, the first half is going to have something to do with the movie. Then the second half is like a continuation. So I, 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 I need to see the movie. <laughs> because this is the real goaded one. Oh, watch. Let's watch the trailer. I can already hear the girls, man. It should have been me, not her. It's not fair. Wait, wait. I got to see this action again. Oh, that's the money shots I was waiting for, man. I'm excited to see how OP Gojo is in this uh, prequel arc. If he was always OP, so it is that's a prequel one of my right? biggest questions. Uh, because this is Gojo unhinged. They had to nerf him by giving him a blindfold. This is Gojo pre-blindfold, man. Let me do my best Joey impression. I don't know anything that Jujutsu Kaisen does special over every other shonen. I'm probably going to skip this one, actually. Uh, it's pretty mid. So we're not getting the Shibuya arc that I've heard so much about just yet but i'm still excited for more jujutsu kaisen uh it's pretty interesting that they're focusing on gojo is gojo going to get more fangirls is that even possible i don't know find out in jujutsu kaisen second season, season. obviously it's going to be a must watch it's jujutsu kaisen i mean it is but like i said i need to see the movie the flashback arc we get the shibuya arc do i think jujutsu kaisen is overhyped i've said this many times before it remains to be seen how good it can get 
let Jujutsu Kaisen cook. Moving on to rent a girlfriend. We've gone past Jujutsu Kaisen. Are we ready for actual peak now? Why has yeah, it got Shibuya a third Army? season? Why has it got a third season? What is going on? What? We know the plot of rent a girlfriend, guys. It's season three. This is the only sequel that has a uh, has a synopsis. Let's have a look at the trailer for this one. <laughs> Oh. oh, rent a girlfriend is my Vinland. Same, bro. Same. God. I have no enemy. Rent a girlfriend's like, I have no bitches. Yo, new girl. New girl to the mix, boys. I can fix her, but can you fix him? Trick question. The answer is no. They, they already know it's peak. They, they only need one 30 second trailer. That's all they need. They already know that we're going to be watching Rent yeah. a Girlfriend season three. Don't no. fucking lie and tell me you're not going <laughs> to no. be watching this if you no. haven't already read the manga, okay? Oh. Let's be honest, man. I mean, I, I tried to season one and I was just like, it nope. It infuriates nope. us so much. Nope. And yet we need one more episode. We need one more chapter. We cannot stop ourselves, even though we know we're just going to get angry. We can't stop. And Rent a Girlfriend season three is going to be interesting. I can not wait rent a girlfriend season three must watch no, moving on no. moving on to everyone devil and one room hero what's what, what's up with all the level one shit why level one after his embarrassing defeat at the hands of a brave hero the demon lord is back and ready for vengeance after 10 years apart the hero max isn't the dashing do-gooder the demon lord remembers in fact max has turned into a shut-in slob with no interest in an epic rematch that's a pretty interesting concept mm. this is the hero going through his midlife crisis actually sounds actually fun that, that sounds all right though yeah this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Hero yeah. is just your average isekai watcher, man. This is what really happens if one of us gets isekai. This one reminded me <laughs> a bit of isekai Jisa. It seems I still like need to watch hero that, man. this land, the isekai hero, it kind of gave me the vibe of someone who peaked in high school. I actually found that like a pretty interesting idea. What happens after? the hero saves the world and just completely lets himself go yeah that this seems like it's going to be a fun little seems all right. i'd comedy. give that I think I'm gonna give three, this one three yeah episodes. moving on what 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 we are getting what? another season of masi munikun's no revenge what okay now we get to okay. watch mishoku yay Tenshin, yay so can go Hell yes. Episode 0 was Boss and then Rudius coming back in episode 1. Loved it. Loved it. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. It all looks as good. Just give me some bread. Where's the bread animation? Where's yeah. the bread animation? Was that? Was that? Yes. Was that, was that, yes. Was that what I think? Yes. <laughs> My boy. I'm trying. I'm trying to root for you, man. I'm trying to root for you, man. Please be a functional member of society. Come on, man. I gotta fucking promote this show. And this is what people see, man. What is there to say? Mushoku Tensei possibly gonna be the best isekai anime of all time. Season one gave us just a taster, just a fucking Apparently taster so, yeah, yeah. at what this entire story, what this entire journey is gonna be about and season two isn't even gonna come close to hopefully being the final season to being the end of rudius's journey as we see our boy is still catching l's but it's okay if we can change the capital l to maybe a lowercase l that's the kind of development we're looking for we don't need instant gratification we are here for the journey easy must watch not really much more i need to say Moving definitely on the seven springtime all right, because I've not read the synopsis or anything, but I've added it to my watch list on Crunchyroll because I like to check out everything as it's coming out. So let's see. Kimberly Magic Academy, when new students begin their first year, one boy clad in black robes with a white cane and sword strapped to his hip approaches the prestigious school. The young man, Oliver, must form a bond with a katana-wielding girl named Nanao if he's to survive the dangers he's to face at this school. That is anything but what it seems. Another action mystery fantasy. intrigue. Okay, let's see what this one's going on. Is. Oh, hold up! Is that non-CG looking monsters there? Okay. Interesting. Hold oh. up! 
hold up maybe doesn't look that bad is it bad that when i just see nicely animated monsters in 2d i get excited is that yeah. where we're at now is that where we're at this no, it's like it's not a very like often occurrence it's, it's a rare occurrence that's what i should have that said actually sounds great every season there i find a surprise i came into this kind of like mentally checked out because i'm like this one's gonna be an easy skip if Mishiro Kitensei wasn't airing the season that would look like one of the most highest production fantasy anime mm. that's you know airing the season except for the fact that you know demon slayer is airing right now but aside from that i'm actually it's surprised right that jc staff are handling this because this does not look like JC staff at all. This actually looks good. What have they been cooking? It remains to be seen if the plot is actually going to be good, but I actually have high hopes I've for this one. I've just because... noticed that it's an alphabetical order and we haven't had the fate slash fake. Um, oh, I wonder if there's a new episode. That first episode was really good. You know, the new fate series. I like that it's a continuation from like the... Um, Limited Blade Works um, storyline. It is, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like it. Because it actually genuinely seems pretty good. Even if the synopsis can seem a little generic, if they can do a good job with the story, then I'm invested. I'm going to give this one three episodes. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Veroni the new Kenshin. Veroni Kenshin. Now, I'm not going to say too much about this. Let's just have a look at the trailer for this. POV Canada. <laughs> oh, the animation looks Whoa. clean, actually. Is this getting the bleach treatment? The nostalgia feeling is strong, man. The nostalgia feelings are strong. Why did they have to make this look actually really good? Roni Kenshin was one of the first shonens that I ended up watching and reading. It's fucking great. It's hmm. one of the greatest shonen action shows to be made, especially the manga. The manga and the writing of Himura Kenshin. As a kid, it has aged wonderfully. It still is an amazing manga. The original anime... And just remembered as well, randomly, sorry, uh, we've also got the rest of the uh, Nier Automata, Automata uh, episodes dropping soon. Apparently, they're all dropping at the same time. So I'll binge in that. I was, I was really starting to enjoy that. It still has some of the best fight scenes I can remember off the top of my head, especially in terms of, like, sword fights. And this looks legitimately fucking great. Like, the animation of this looks great. For a remake, this looks like everything a Veroni Kenshin fan could ask for. Now, unfortunately, the mangaka has been outed. I am not up to date with the exact situation. Oh. Kind of stained the legacy for me of Veroni Kenshin. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind about this just yet. All I can say is, from an adaptation point of view, actually looks pretty damn good. So I'm not going to give this one a rating, and I'm just going to move on. Next up, we have Rise of Atlia. Atlia's getting Atelier? an anime adaptation. Oh, is, I know is this that? is a game. I know two things about oh. Atlia. Alchemist and Thighs. And that's all I know about it. The story of Ryza, a fledgling alchemist who escaped her boring daily life with her friends to pursue her dream. Let's have a look at the trailer for this one. Basically an ad. Well, you know what? It's working. That's the thigh. Oh, Jesus. there it is, boys. There's the th oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, that target audience. Holy shit. I'm sold, boys. I'm sold. Who the f*** was that? I, I heard thighs. I wasn't expecting uh, extra plot as nice. well. This nice. is clearly just an ad for the game. And mm. it fucking works because I'm going to skip this one because I actually want to play the game. All right, ah, okay, moving fair. on to Sin Duality Noir. The year is 2222. It has been years since Tears of the New Moon. A mysterious rain poured and wiped out almost the entire human race. Whoa. The poisonous rain gave birth to deformed creatures devouring humans and humanity fled from the danger. The story of how humans and AI coinciding and trying to find their truth begins. We have the second sci-fi of the season so far and again we're dealing with ai so let's have a look at what Van this Dynamica. is going to be all about whoa whoa hold up hold up hold up are we back to 2d mechas please please tell me we're back okay we, it's uh two and a half d we'll take it we'll take those, we'll take those. not every we take those can be gundam the witch for mercury unfortunately designs look pretty good actually oh never mind oh. It's an idle anime. <laughs> oh, of 
Macross, Max and Idols, we're bringing Macross back. Kind of digging this music more than uh, I'm digging the meds right now. Maybe this should just be an idol and day. I thought that had potential from the synopsis. Again, we don't get enough sci-fi. Unfortunately, it looks like just kind of a mess. I went into this and I'm just like, what tone are we right now? What What is the tone? Is this a mecha show? Is this an idol show? Is this a serious show? Is this a lighthearted show? What did I just watch? It is a sci-fi. I like my sci-fi shows, so I'll give this an episode to see if it has anything at all to hook me into it. Because I'll be honest, the trailer didn't tell me much, but my hopes are not. All right, moving Temple. on to Temple. I know I'll become a monk. <laughs> Wait, hey, anime, it's I can relate story. To main character's a monk? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Akigami has spent his days and nights absorbed in studying and part-time work in an effort to distance himself from his family, which is notorious as a household of, what is that, philanderers? What is it? Philanderers. A philanderer? Womanizer? Oh, okay. One day he falls in love at first sight with a girl named Albi Yuzuki, and suddenly he's constantly drowning in worldly desires. Oh, that's not very monkly. That is not very monkly. So begins a new rom-com about about the temple life of three adorable triplets and two beautiful freeloaders. What? This doesn't seem like a very <laughs> monthly anime. I was gonna say, it's not relatable at all. Guys, what can I say? What can I say? Didn't oh, even God. commit. He says he's a monk. Still got his hair. Still got his eyebrows. Beta monk, man. Beta monk. Beta monk. To a monk react to this show. From the trailer, didn't look like it did anything that weird or that didn't look like it stood out too much. And another thing as well is that it has some tough competition this season. We're getting some peak harem anime this season i'm gonna give this one episode as as a fellow monk i'll see how monkly this is moving on to undead girl murder i forgot about this oh mate second episode's out i really oh i'm gonna watch that later this was so good this first episode was awesome the animation was great the story was great the characters were great it seemed so dumb the the, the kissy scene near the end of the first episode was a bit weird but it kind of makes sense in this story of this this really took me by surprise i think this could be potentially the anime of this season so it could be our first episode was something else the 19th century a world inhabited by vampires golems werewolves and other paranormal creatures all right let's have a look at the trailer for this one. Ooh. yeah this Ooh. is sick Hold up, hold up, this looks pretty stylish It's actually. great. Hold up a second here. Hold up a second. I want a proper trailer for that one because that looked like on the cusp of being something that could be a Loki silent hit. Fuck me, it's the director of Kaguya-sama? Okay, oh, we're cooking. Didn't know we that. are cooking. The synopsis did not sell me, but this is yeah, kind it's great. Of so great. in terms of staff members. In just 30 seconds, it was able to catch my attention. Attention. Holy shit. Undead Girl Murder, Murder Fast. Fast. Yeah, yeah. That is such a bad name. What does that mean? Maybe I need to pay attention to this one. It makes sense. <laughs> I do not really know what to expect, but even in just 30 seconds, even just looking at the staff members, I'm very impressed. I'm going to give this one Mate. three episodes. Yeah. Next is a show by Kinema Citrus. What does no Shiawa say? Does that marriage. mean my happy marriage? Okay, I'm interested. Maybe I found my show. Born to a noble family, Mio is married off to uh, Kyoka, a soldier so heartless his prior fiance's fled. God damn. Not even divorced, just fled. All right, I'm interested. Kinema Citrus doing a marriage anime. Finally, something from me. Okay, okay. Art style, good. Art style, good. This is an Emerichu anime. Looks all right, yeah. <laughs> this looks pretty funny. Fucking clean. Kinema Citrus coming in clutch again. An adult romance. All right, dig it. Got drama. The only thing that I don't really like is the setting itself. I'm like, eh, this, this kind of setting is just like, not really something that appeals to me. But aside from that, it has a lot of different elements that I am interested in. I'm going to take it. I'm going to give this one three episodes. Moving on to Yumamiru Danchi wa Genjutsu. The dreaming boy is realist. Sajo Wataru, who is deeply in love with his beautiful classmates, Natsukawa Some Aika. Someone hundreds there. To a Someone hundreds there. Ah! Approach her without... The way they used colors and everything. And the... Ah! 
after getting discouraged while having dreams about their mutual love. However, one day he woke up thinking, I'm not really fit to be together with someone as good as her, huh? Beta way of thinking, man. No, you are the Giga Chad. You gotta believe you are the Giga Chad. Come on, man. Upon realizing this, Wataru started keeping an appropriate distance towards her. This is pissing me off already. I haven't even, I haven't even started the anime. I'm just reading the synopsis and this is pissing me off already. This is the start of a rom-com revolving around two people who just can't get their feelings across and both think their love is unrequainted. Oh, is this, uh, is this gonna be a hate watch kind of show? It's not that complicated, man. It's not that complicated. Oh, let's have a look at the trailer for this one. <laughs> Why does the main girl have to be a Cinderace? Why? I was ready to drop this. Something's wrong with my brain. I'm like, I don't want to watch this show. All I hear is this. <laughs> okay, I mean, then it's just like, I'm a ah, man of cute this. I see a Kudere in my harem anime, and I say, no. I see a Tsundere in my harem anime, and I say, yes. I am going to give this one three episodes. Are you just that simple? Or is it more accurate to say you're just a sim? Either one works fine by me. Maybe it'll be a hate watcher for me. Mm. Who knows? All right, Here moving on to our final show of the day. We have ZOM 100 bucket list of the dead. Now, I I, um, I read the manga for this as the volumes come out. So I have read like a fair bit. Uh, first, So I've read the first nine volumes of this and it's great. It's so good. And based off the first episode, if they can keep it going and do clever things with the animation and that like they did this is gonna be awesome this is gonna be great this is gonna be absolutely class this is gonna be class surviving a zombie apocalypse beats being a wage slave any day after spending years slaving away for a soul why are you reading the synopsis you know what this is about you did a video about the manga all crushing <laughs> company akira's life has lost its luster now akira's on a mission to complete all 100 items on his bucket list before he will kicks the bucket i have already made a video about this mm -hmm. so or i say anything we will watch the trailer. trailer yo why does this go so hard what the f is bug bug films where where the hell did they come from remember the name holy crap new studio god <laughs> this goes so hard it's great Oh, Absolutely oh, great. I haven't seen this trailer yet. Yo. Oh. God. The aesthetics of this are just so good. Where did this production company come from, man? Yeah, I am absolutely hyped for this one. Here's the thing. I've already promoted the manga, but I promoted that like years ago. And I did not ever expect that the anime would look this mm. good. It looks this fantastic. This is getting like a premium it's treatment a must -watch. from what it looks like uh, in terms of its adaptation. I didn't think it would look this good. I'll be honest. Aside from the production values, I think this is a genuinely interesting take on mm -hmm. the zombie genre this one is going to be an easy must watch mm -hmm. and i think definitely, this is definitely. the only must watch i've seen this season that is an that is a new anime that's that isn't a sequel that's yeah. airing. but that was it for what about fate summer 2020 what about fate what about Hope fate you enjoyed it if you what about fate you feel free to come well, not talking about fate I thought Giga Kafol people would be talking about fate. Where's the where's the talk about fate? Fate! Fate! Like and subscribe. <laughs> I have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash Giga if you want to check these kinds of streams out, or if you just want to see me playing the odd video game. I'm not gonna say what video games they are. You can probably guess what they are. Anyway though, that's been it for me. I've been Giga, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. I can't believe he didn't talk about fate. <laughs> Man, but uh, yeah, there's some interesting stuff out there. That undead um, fast one, definitely get on to. I I think that's going to be awesome. And um, Psalm 100, yes. Fate series, yes. The Vending Machine, Isekai, yes. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good season. Make sure you check out my Etsy shop. Links in the description for t-shirts and hoodies that I've designed. And thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video I upload, link in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is the last spot challenge. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for that. And thank you all for watching. Which guys, you guys, this click like, subscribe if you have not already. Leave comments down below. Let me know that I should watch and discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys, you guys, next time.